Hi all, welcome to Curie Electronics. Today we'll see how to convert from microfarad to nanofarad or ficofarad to microfarad, all these conversions, capacitor value conversions. And what are the common type of capacitor used? So without any further delay, we'll start. Now, microfarad, we will take four examples and try to learn. So, I will first I'll write it in microfarad. 0 0.001 microfarad. This is equal to what is what is the nanofarad? How do you what is the value of 0 0.001 microfarad in nanofarad? What do you do? You multiply this microfarad by thousand, then you will get it in nanofarad. If you multiply what you will get, you will get one. So this is equal to I'll write with a different pen. This is equal to one nanofarad. How do we got it? We have multiplied this microfarad in nanofarad. Now, how do I, I write it in picofarad? If you multiply nanofarad by thousand, you are going to get in picofarad. What's a picofarad? You will multiply, you will get thousand picofarad. 1000 picofarad. Let me use single single color. So this is going to be 1000 picofarad. Right. And now, EIA or mill code. How do you, how, how this value is expressed in EIA or mill code? It will be represented. See, if you see here, a one it will be represented by one zero oh let me take another pen a one zero two how did i write this this picker whatever is represented this eia or mill it is directly in pf pick of ferrets so first uh, first two digits i'll write it like that just like that so 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 2 so that gives what thousand thousand pf that's how it's mentioned yaa code or mill code okay now we will take the second example second example what i will do i'll write the value in picofarad pick of iron, then we will convert it. So what is given? 4700 pick of iron we got. That is what given 4000 pick of iron. Now this pick of iron, I have to convert it to EAA or mill code. You might have seen on ceramic capacitors, like this capacitor, ceramic capacitors, what will be mentioned here on the ceramic capacitor is in of this 4700 pf they won't mention they will mention it as 472 472 let me write with the i'm missing the pens 472 472 that's what it will be mentioned on a ceramic capacitor what does it mean it means 4700 pf just like this how 47 multiplied by 10 to the power 2 the third digit is a multiplier so it will be mentioned here 472 it means that is 4700 picofarad now what will be with the picofarad we know the what is the value in picofarad how do you write it in nanofarad if you divide picofarad by 1000 you are going to get it in nanofarad that means it is 4.7 nanofarad how do you convert this 4.7 nanofarad to microfarad if you divide this 4.7 nanofarad by 1000 we will get microfarad so it is going to be 0 0.0047 microfarad 
microfarad. We'll take the third example. Third example, what I'll write first. In nanofarad, I'll write it first. But before that, let me correct it. Because I want to use different color pen. So it is going to be 0 0.0047 microfarad. Okay, next I am going to write it in nanofarad. I will give you so all of you convert it. What you are getting? Check yourself. So it is going to be uh, what is the value I am going to write? 10 nanofarad. Send 10 nanofarad. What is in picofarad? You have to multiply by 1000. And what do you get? You get 10 multiplied by 1000. So 1, 2, 3 zeros. So, how do you write it in now? Uh, mill code or EIA, Electronics Industries Alliance. EIA code. So, first two digits you will write it, then you will make it a multiplier. 103. 103. 103. Now, instead of saying 10,000 PF, you can say this we can represent it as K also. We can say 10 kpf also make note of it we can say it as 10 kpf also no nothing wrong thousand we are calling it as k okay now what is in microfarad 10 nanofarad how do you convert it into microfarad if you divide by 1000 you will get it in microfarad so it is 0 0.0 one zero that is zero point zero one x d in microfarad. Uh, let me make it properly. Okay, it is going to be a little lengthy video, so that we learn whatever required is basic. That is zero point one microfarad. 0.1 microfarad. Now one more last example. Let's take what I, what will take. I'll give you the code. EA code or uh, EA code or what do you say? Mill code. So this is 104. It means what? It is 100 kpf. Now I hope all of you know before I write. It is 100 kpf right 100 kpf how first two digit followed by four zeros is it right or not so total five zeros a three is kpf correct it's 100 kpf now what is in nanofarad in nanofarad it is just if you remove the k it is going to be in nanofarad so 100 nanofarad very simple, it's nanofarad. You should never have a doubt how to convert now. Now, what is in microfarad? That is, if you divide this 100 nanofarad by 1000, you will get 0.1 microfarad. So, I hope all of you understood the conversion from microfarad to picofarad. What is the build code? How do you represent? Okay, now we will quickly see what are the types of capacitor we come across generally. Okay, I have given you uh, different type of capacitors. Okay, this also will quickly go through it. Electrolytic capacitors. I think all of you know what's an electrolytic capacitor. It's a polarized, right? It's polarized. It's polarized. Then what we know about it? It's polarized. Then normally power supply we use. Is it for filtering? Power supply we use filtering. Filtering of power supply ripples we will use it power supply then what do we use for timing also we use non-critical timing as a non-critical timing element we use it as a non-critical timing element non-critical timing element timing element there are many things are there non-critical timing element i'm not going to all this okay 
I just want you to introduce to what are the types of then that other type is the tantalum tantalum capacitor this is also a polarized capacitor if you see here there will be a plus marked polarized it's also polarized capacitor and it has got one important property uh, that is the low equivalent ESR value low ESR value ESR value means what equivalent series resistance all capacitors supposed to have some resistance uh, next is the ceramic ceramic capacitor or we'll quickly I'm going through it so next is the ceramic capacitor these capacitors are used in RF mainly these are used in RF also high frequency bypass also we use this Oh, bypass uh, most of the digital circuit I have seen the ceramic capacitors are used as bypass capacitors bypass bypass capacitors uh, next is the polyester polyester capacitor this polyester capacitor is as a general purpose capacitor as a general purpose capacitor what else uh, general applications we can use not specific to anything general is a general purpose general purpose capacitor general purpose uh, now see there are seven common types of capacitors are there okay let's see next what we'll see uh, polystyrene capacitor what's polystyrene capacitor we'll see what's polystyrene capacitor it's this capacitor this polystyrene capacitors are it's they are used because of their high stability only critical points I am writing, okay. Uh, these polystyrene capacitors are uh, high stability, they are having high stability, stable value, high stability. And what about uh, now poly? We have polyester, polystyrene, then polypropylene, and polycarbonate. Polypropylene, what is the speciality of polypropylene? this polypropylene capacitor used for uh, high voltage applications high voltage applications polypropylene high voltage applications high voltage applications uh, like uh, high voltage applications like your power converters power converters and all use this uh, capacitors power high voltage applications applications now what about the, the last one is the polycarbonate uh, what is the stability where temperature this polycarbonate yeah this polycarbonate is used to whenever whenever we required temperature stability temperature stability temperature stability temperature stability let me erase and write properly because something this board is not responding as I want I don't know what is wrong with it. stability maybe something wrong so we have seven common types of capacitors electrolytic these are polarized and we get it in our audio circuit also to couple the stages we use and to bypass also we use this electrolytic capacitors tantalum tantalum also polarized capacitor and they have low ESR value and they are small in, small compared to electrolytic capacitors ceramic capacitors is a thin layer of ceramic uh, multi-layer ceramic capacitors these are and these are used in RF and mainly used as a bypass capacity polyester polyester general purpose applications polystyrene is high stability wherever you want high stable very stable value of capacitance we use polystyrene and uh, polypropylene high voltage applications we use high voltage applications like uh, our power converters SMPS all those area this uses polycarbonate when, wherever we need this temperature stability temperature when we are concerned about temperature when we use this polycarbonate capacitors so 
uh, friends thanks for watching if you like the video please share with your friends and uh, hit that uh, like button share share the video thank you